there's a few other configuration changes we can make in Management Studio to make it easier to work with scripts. One of them is to change what's shown on the tabs at the top of SSMS. Right now I have it showing lots and lots of stuff, which results in this tab not being completely readable. I have the name of my script, I have my login, I have my session ID showing. And when I highlight over it, when I hover over it, I do get a tooltip which gives me uh, the full information about my query as well as the instance, the database, and my login. And I actually like that, but sometimes I want less information there. And it really varies. Maybe I always use the same login in an environment and it's just not even an interesting piece of info. This isn't always true. This is only true sometimes, but if that's the case, I don't even want that login showing. We can, show, we can control all of this by going into Tools, Options. And what we're gonna do is go and look at our text editor section or text editor options. So under text editor here, I'm gonna expand that out and then go down to the editor tab and status bar. So we are here and then here. There are so many options in Management Studio, it's easy to get lost. We're gonna navigate down in this window to the right. And what we're looking at here is tab text. If you're not interested in anything but the file name, for example, you can toggle everything else off and say, I just wanna see the file names there. And in some environments, that's the case for me. In some, in some contexts, I actually do wanna see all of them. So for me, this one will vary depending on where I'm working and what I'm doing. And I'm gonna say, okay. Now, nothing changed here. Right? This is the same tooltip we had before. A lot of things in tools options don't change until you open a new session window. My existing sessions aren't changed by this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this session and I'm going to reopen it. And now on the reopen session, we can't see my login name anymore on the version of the tab. And when I hover over it, my tooltip is shorter as well. So if you only wanna see the file names, you can simplify your life a little bit. Now, if I wanna copy that path, I love this option of right-clicking on a tab and using copy full path. If I then have a file that I wanna go open just in my file manager, file explorer, I, or I just wanna get uh, the path to it to use in documentation, I love being able to right click and copy that there as well. Now by reopening my script, we ended up back at the top of course. Another option, and this is recent, I really, really like this one, is this ability to be able to pin the tabs. There's a little pin now in Management Studio on all of our tabs, and I'm gonna pin this tab and this is the way that I like to configure it. When I pin a tab, I like for it to be in a separate area, but that's not how it defaults. It defaults to just being in line with all the other tabs. We can configure this in environment. So we're gonna go tools and options, and then under this environment bar at the top, we're gonna go down to tabs and windows. And under tabs and windows, I like to say, show the pinned tabs in a separate row. And that makes it more useful. Now these tabs, when we close Management Studio, they are going to be forgotten. And it might seem like this option would change that, but at least as of now in Management Studio, it doesn't. It, that removing them from the well is just dragging them out of that document well. That isn't closing Management Studio. This isn't quite Pinterest. <laughs> they aren't pinned forever. They're just pinned for the life of you having Management Studio open. But I do like having this pinned option because maybe there's a script that I need to just refer back to periodically during the day. It makes it, having it in its own little space there makes it much easier for me to remember not to close it. Makes it easier to not get lost amongst my work. I really like that. 
I also, for procedures that you don't even want to open the file for them, you just have a procedure installed and you want to be able to conveniently run it. I love saving shortcuts for the procedure names. I've done this for many years and now I really love the free SP Who is Active procedure from Adam Mechanic at whoisactive.com. Before, I had my own version of a similar script that said, hey, what's running? Whatever script you like to frequently run to see what's up, and maybe there's more than one, but I, for me, there's usually one. We can configure that in tools and options. Under environment, we go to keyboard and then we go to query shortcuts. So we're in tools, options, environment, keyboard, query shortcuts. And there are some built-in ones here. I don't actually use the built-in ones a lot. What I like to do is, I, and I like to use control zero, and I like to set up who is active right there under control zero. It's, you know, really easy one to remember for me. I'm gonna say okay. And now, again, it's not gonna do anything in my current session. I'm hitting control zero and nothing is happening here. And that's because like a lot of things in tools options, I have to do a new session window. I just did control N for new window and now control zero runs SP who is active. I don't really have anything going on in my test instance. So this isn't really very interesting, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to another session. I'm gonna throw in a begin tran and then run a select in the wrong database. Let's see if we actually uh, got anything there. Yes, my failed query, <laughs> even, I did start a transaction even though I followed it with an error followed by a batch terminator, oops. If I now, and I'm running it again, you can see the time increasing there on my flub, uh, that's magical. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll it back. We're gonna roll back our transaction. We'll, pre we'll pretend this never happened, right? It's just between me and you. And now when I go back there and hit control zero, SP who is active says it's all cleaned up. But when I need to know quickly, hey, what's up on this instance? I don't even wanna have to type the name of it. That's why I love that shortcut key. So I can immediately check and see if all is peaceful or if there's something up on the SQL server.